This episode starts with a ride on a jetpack. Also known as the sky crane, it first lowers perseverance on cables. That's the communication and power cable unspooling. Dust begins to rise as the thrust of the rockets hits the surface. In a cloud of dust, Perseverance gently touches down, then it cuts the sky crane loose with pyrotechnic cable cutters. Let's take a slow motion look as the dust and debris swirls around the rover. The rocket thrust propels the sky crane skyward when the weight of the rover is released. And here's the last look at this engineering marvel before it flies off to a fiery end. The view from the rear has cam seconds after touchdown caught the crash landing of the sky crane. This is the fisheye view through the transparent protective cover that was still in place. Zooming in, this looping set of four frames, each six seconds apart, shows the rising and drifting plume. It's probably a mix of dust and smoke from the explosive burning of whatever fuel was still left. You can also see a plume of dust from the landing event as it drifts away. It starts as a light haze, then the ground darkens, probably from the shadow of the dust cloud as it lifts off the ground. The next day, literally after the dust settles, the view of the ancient delta comes into focus, especially when the high resolution mass cam Z takes over. There's no sky crane hardware to be seen, only the coffee can shaped UHF antenna and pieces of the rover's power generator. The sky crane crash site is hidden from view at this location. Weeks later, the rover had moved to slightly higher ground. The view past two protective covers shed by Perseverance reveals the layers of the delta and the glint of shiny metal. That's the crumpled wreckage of the sky crane. Beaming in Mars Guy helps show just how far off it is, about 700 meters away. This artifact of robotic visitors from Earth adds to the one imaged by the Spirit rover on the rim of Bonneville Crater. In this case, it's a smashed heat shield, like one that Perseverance used. The heat shield from the Opportunity rover was easy enough to get to that it drove right up to check it out. The violent impact literally turned it inside out. There's one more artifact from the Perseverance mission that I'm hoping we'll see up close someday. The brightly colored parachute joins the set of hardware in Jezero Crater that can be viewed with a high-rise camera from orbit. Perseverance left its wing-shaped scour marks from the sky crane rockets, and the sky crane left a V-shaped impact zone. The parachute came to rest at the edge of a small cliff where it probably gently flutters in the Martian breeze.